Yeah, that feeling of having your heart broken in whatever way the, the loss has occurred, whether it's mm -hmm. the death of a loved one or maybe it's some other form of loss or, you know, permanent failure of, of you know, health or loss of a job or whatever it may be. Um, you know, that, that initial pain is, is it's hard. Uh, and as I said earlier, getting in touch with that vulnerability um, it's freaky, <laughs> you know. Um, <laughs> it's, it takes a lot of courage to to just to feel it. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, what a natural reaction we have is that we try to protect ourselves from feeling that pain, mm -hmm. and uh, and so you know we often sort of we defend, we we hold some back, we um, we try to not have experiences that open the possibility for losing or failing and you know that's all in an attempt to protect ourselves from from heartbreak from pain from vulnerability but what it does and and Brené Brown does a great job of talking about this is you know we can't really turn off the vulnerability uh, without turning off our access to connection and joy and you know real intimacy that the nature of love is as you say as soon as you're you're truly loving honestly loving well then there's a part of you that you know would find it really difficult if you lost um, the, the the personal object of that love um, that you've you've given your heart over to. So it, there is inherent risk and vulnerability in true intimacy. And by intimacy, I mean, you know, intimacy with people, but also intimacy with other experiences in life. Mm -hmm. When you fully intimate with um, you know, saying, this is what I want in life, this is what I'm creating, and you're really you put your heart and soul and time and energy and money into creating it and it doesn't work out the way you wanted, mm -hmm. um, you know, that that's that's hard. Uh, but, you know, we really, we, we have a choice um, to either spend our whole lives hedging and defending, living defensively, and, you know, we're avoiding... We're, we're, we're thinking that we're avoiding risk of losing. But what we're assuring ourselves is not just of risk, but we're, like we're actually giving up a bunch of experiences. And we're not recognizing the risk in that, of getting to the end of our lives with all these regrets that um, you know, we, we, we chose not to live those parts of ourselves that really wanted to live. Mm 